हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जिसको सार्थक एंड इन दिस चैनल वी डिस्कस अबाउट टेक करियर प्रोडक्ट एंड लाइफ एंड इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ लाइफ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट्स माय स्टोरी टुवर्ड्स जीएस लाइक हाउ आई वाज एबल टू क्रैक अ जॉब ऑफर एट जीएस यू माइट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दीज एसोसिएट्स कमिंग एट योर कॉलेज और इन केयर कैंपस और ऑफलाइन हायरिंग सो वी विल डिस्कस अ लॉट ऑफ दीज डिटेल्स वॉट आर द इंटरव्यू राउंड लाइक वॉट वॉज द प्रोसेस एंड सो एंड सो फोर्थ so without further ado let's start with the video so yes zs associate was my zero day company at my college that was my on campus offer i cracked the first company that came to my college and thus there are certain rules at my college that i cannot uh, apply at more companies that more than one company at my college uh, so that's why when i cracked the zs i was not able to sit on any other on campus companies uh but yeah zs was the first company that came into my college and i cracked it so we will deep dive what was the interview rounds like what were the different processes what were the different kind of questions to ask so it started with the first round uh they the the zs start like uh, gave us an online test link which comprises of different kind of question for different profiles there are mainly three profiles btsa or bta profile like business technology solutions associate and then there is a second profile business operations associate and then there is a different a third profile business uh, decision analytics associate so these three profiles were there there were different kind of questions on the online link for specifically for btsa profile that which i applied for had some technical questions something like debugging uh, the questions were on the online so they were mcq based but the questions were more around what kind of function will be there what is this uh, what would be the output or what would be the error in this code something like that so there were some technical questions also present in the online round there were two parts of it first was to crack the uh, the online mcq assessment and that has three parts something like mental ability the online technical knowledge and some behavioral questions when you crack that part you enter into the second part of this online uh, exam second part was more around a video interview round um, so what happened was at least at my time when i gave this uh, uh, exam was in 2019 Uh, I'm not sure like how the things have panned out during the pandemic times because it was pre-pandemic and the call came company came to my uh, campus and I gave like all the rounds uh, in in person at my college. So things might have changed. So keep uh, like take all this information with a pinch of salt. So in the second like in the second part of the online round, what basically happened? There were like questions like uh, some guesstimate questions, some behavioral question like uh, explain a thing like oh, oh, what happened. Uh, where you have shown some leadership qualities or something like how many balls can be fit into an aeroplane or some questions were around more like uh, how would you debug this problem or this function um, what will happen if uh, you want to roll out this product something like that some technical or some guesstimate based questions some behavioral based questions there were around approximate 5 or 6 questions and for every question you will get 30 seconds to think about it and then you have to look at the screen and like speak non stop for like not not in non stop but in like in a continuous fashion for about 1 and a half minute to 2 minutes uh the thing that like there is what, what i have at least gathered uh, is that there is no other person sitting uh, on the other side of listening those videos but the algorithm understands what kind of words that you are speaking um as in uh what whatever the question requires there are certain words that a vocabulary has been built into that question so whenever you mention those words in your video the system automatically like extract those keywords and match with the answer keywords if let, let's say there is a threshold of 50% match or the keywords that you have spoken about in the video and that they are present in the the list that are above 50% match or 20% match then you are shortlisted for the next round something like that so for all these five videos you have to answer uh, in looking at the screen for like a one to two minutes uh, i think that also extends to like three minutes for some question there were some time limit there as well but this was the common pattern after this round this was the first round which has one a and one b this was the first round uh, what basically happened the people who were able to clear the online assessment round in this this uh, uh, video round uh, they were called for face to face interviews and in the face to face interview the second round which was given as a mc uh, by will say database related study we were given a data set uh, 
uh, or, or, or a sheet with at least six, seven tables with different kind of columns, uh, different cardinal tables. There were like some questions, how will you find this kind of data? How will you find this kind of data? Um, the invigilator or the, I would say the recruiter that came, they asked us to write SQL queries if possible. If the person is not aware with the exact SQL queries, they can write in a way, let's say I will connect table A with table B and then table B with you know, table C and uh, find out where the things are like this. In, in, a, in a, like I would say suitable English, that, so that the person can gather that at least he, might, uh, like the, he or she might not know the SQL queries, but can extract the right data with the right parameters. So that was the agenda of that round. Uh, we had to write like, there were, I think 10, 12 questions. Uh, it's a 45 minute study where you have get 15 minutes to just go through the document and like half an hour to answer the questions. Based on that, based on that, uh, we were called about the interviews. So like the second, again, second A was this one and second B was another interview. Round. So in the second B part specifically, we were asked for a face-to-face -face interview with La, um, it depends uh, upon like whom uh, the recruiter has, like, is it going to be online or offline for you? For me, it was an offline interview. So I have to like go to the uh, different room where we were sitting in, like there was one person sitting on me. For some people, there was a panel also available, like two or two people were there. Um, so what happened in that round was a brief discussion about the previous round. Like, how did you come up with this query? Did you find any problem with this table specifically? Is there data some missing? So something like, uh, no, there was some data around, let's say, Sachin was playing in the year mentioned, but 1850. Sachin was not born at that time, right? So that, that kind of some data discrepancy was present. So you have to find out. There were some events where we cannot have, let's say, two times, two entries in the same table. So a unique code was present and that was entered two twice. So that was the discrepancy in the table. So these kind of discrepancies have to be pointed out. Some discussion around how you came about this SQL query or what was your thinking behind this? this? This kind of discussion happened in that round. The, then there was some discussion about my resume, my projects, my previous internships. It like, uh, I would say uh, around 30, 40% of the time of the whole interview was discussion around my previous internships. What did the projects I did? What kind of job role was that? How I uh, moved into this space? What was my analytical skills look like? How, why do I want to join ZS as a company? And, uh, uh, this was like a majority of the discussion. Then the company moved towards uh, what I aim to uh, like. He also made the uh, the atmosphere comfortable. He explained like what kind of work are expected in ZS. Uh, what are the things that uh, we do at ZS? Something like that. And then we moved to the puzzle round. There were some puzzles. I would highly recommend to go through Geeks for Geeks for that. The Geeks for Geeks, Geeks, for Geeks has a light uh, like whole combination of all the puzzles present. Uh, where you can read about them and understand how the puzzles are developed and what kind of answer you have to give. So mostly puzzles were uh, around the same category. Then there were some questions more around uh, analytical skills. Uh, how do you go about it? Some some of kind of, uh, I would say, mix of behavioral and analytical questions. So for example, you are in a client meeting, what you how would you present uh, answer this question? So it also is like, how would I present to a client? And how would I solve that question? That was a mix of a two questions, uh, two types of things in that one question. So these kind of questions, like the round lasted for me around one and a half hour, at least, at least what I remember. That was the round. Uh, and in the last, he asked me like, if you have any question for the uh, for me or for the company, I can answer that. So that was also a good conversation we had around 10, 15 minutes, how things work at the year along, around that, what kind of job, job role is being expected out of me. And uh, then this second round, I would say, I rather third round or uh, second B part has been ended. Uh, then after like I'd say three, four hours, we were called for the next round. That was a HR interview round, I would say, or a mix of leadership round. So a senior person from the leadership uh, uh, were called for the interview, but uh, people shortlisted were quite in a bunch and the time was like around 8, 9 p.m. ish. So to speed up the process, they asked us to give, few people have to give in the interview right there on, in a room, in a cabin. And the other people who were like, uh, uh, who were shortlisted, but uh, there are no, enough not panelists available at the campus on site. So they asked us to give an interview via phone or via like a Zoom screen, Skype, and so on and so forth. So I, like that was our experience. So for me specifically, I got the interview via call itself. Uh, the interviewer mentioned that he's uh, kind of away from the laptop, so that way he has called me, and if he if I am comfortable, I'm giving the interview on call. 
obviously i was like more than happy to because i got shortlisted and the all speed of energy was there um so uh, i gone in and gone it was more of a behavioral or discussion round what i see uh, as a vs what kind of projects that i have done what a resume what kind of uh, qualities that i have shown some around strengths and weaknesses it was more focused on those skills uh, how will i work with the client how will i work with the team what will i do to my subordinates juniors seniors and all of those question it lasted about at least 30 35 minutes 40 minutes what i remember uh that was a discussion in just of the round there were no technical questions as per se but they asked about my technical capabilities how i am well versed with excel or sql or uh, word in slides or how i am well versed in different technologies such as uh, c++ powerpoint uh, uh, power apps and certain other skill set uh, that they did, did, uh, worked on something like tableau and or uh based on this uh, i got the result uh, around 10 10 30 ish what i remember and at the, at the night i was completely exhausted by these rounds and i got the result that i have been shortlisted and uh, to be fair like i was the first person to get the first result at that time so like all the people that shortlisted from my college are, are like after me i was the i was in the first list of uh, the batch that got uh, shortlisted from the company and a very 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 big asterisk over there so on this day uh, like uh, you have must have heard about like how things happen in and on campus like recruitment you have to be in formals you have to go and ready and present yourself there are face to face interviews this was an offline interview at place but the asterisk was that at that particular day like uh, i was very sick the the weather was changing at that time i was sick with i would say a high fever and a little bit of uh, let's say cold uh, uh, i would say in cold in the sense uh, uh, some cough and some, some some something like that so when i was feeling under uh, the weather i still gave for the interview i still cracked all the rounds and i was like highly dosed up with the medicines but after completely getting exhausted after getting these interviews at that time the thing that i have learned the most and then thing i have value is that irrespective how you are uh in your perfect shape or perfect day irrespective of that you can still can crack a job even on your best day you cannot like there could be some chances that are not in your favor and you might get rejected but even in your worst day that was the my biggest scare that i was on my worst position i have not prepared well i was not able to get a sleep i am my full body is aching and i have fever but still i was able to crack that interview and that was the most uh, like prestigious thing at the moment like for any interview that i have give, given before they were all in the good good day or best, best day of myself but this was on my worst day i was not prepared i was not well sleep i was not i would say all energized uh, i have that the, there was a lack of some uh, energy in me there was uh, i was not well uh, in in the well mindset to give an interview but still i was able to crack it i believe some uh, some of these things were uh, due to some practice and what i had in my mind the confidence and then the things that uh, are the, the the questions that i answered in the interview are matter the most like that is the learning that i want to specifically give for this part so with this uh, i come to this end, end of this video i hope aapko is year's interview experience acha laga hoga aapko ye round samajh mein aaye honge there are some things that have been changed in last two years but zs is an like in pharma sector they have clients across us europe and japan so they are hiring very heavily in during pandemic times and uh, there are very high chances that if you are able to uh, track this opportunity don't miss it please join zs it's a very very good company it's a, going to be a very good step uh, career led uh, like a step in your career ladder and i would highly recommend that and uh, agar abhi bhi koi questions hai to please mention them in the comment section below i am happy to answer about all these things that i have done so with this uh, i will see you in the next video thank you and uh, uh, before moving into the last last part please share this video among your friends who are aspiring to be a zs uh, person and like this video and share this among all your friends and all your juniors and seniors so i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care so guys uh, what is newton school newton school ek edtech startup hai jahan pe uh, you can learn more about uh, different technologies out there uh, they will help you get job offer from these top tech companies and unka ek bahut hi acha program hai jahan pe aapko ek rupya bhi pay nahi karna jab tak aapke in companies mein job nahi lag jata they have very good uh, offerings with this uh, course uh, live classes industrial projects mock interviews and personal mentoring 
uh, I will put the link in the description and I suggest you all to check this out and explore their courses. <laughs>